Hey everyone, I'm Xunani. Welcome to my new video. Welcome to my studio. Perhaps you recognized there's something different today. Yeah, I wanted to show you which person is behind this channel, which person belongs to these hands. Today we will make a cozy sketchbook video and test out the Turner acrylic gouache. I'm really excited because I wanted to try out them for so long. And we will use this black pages sketchbook from Sakura. And there's another thing I bought long time ago and haven't tested out yet. This Stay Wet palette. I think it's a good time for doing all the stuff I wanted to do all the time right now. Like acrylic gouache, black sketchbook huh? and the Stay Wet palette. I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's do this! First we will unpack the Stay Wet palette. I saw it in a lot of art videos and as I bought it I almost only painted with acrylic so I thought this is a good thing for me. But now I love to use watercolors and I didn't need it anymore. But I think it's perfect for the acryl gouache. This palette comes with some hydration paper sheets for your paint and these soft spongy foam layer which should hold water that your paint doesn't dry out. And of course the palette. I have to say I like the design, the rounded edges. It has a good size for mixing. Let's build it together. Oh, I love these soft spongy things here. It feels so good to touch them. This is so satisfying. Hmm. Oh, this holds a lot more water than I expected. Okay, one sheet of hydration paper. I put the palette beside for later and now we will swatch all these awesome colors on black and on white paper. Later I will work on a black paper so I would like to see how they perform on both. This is a beautiful red. You can see the first red is not as opaque as I expected. Now it's dry and I try to reactivate it and it doesn't work. That is the cool thing from acrylic gouache. They are not water soluble when they are dried. I have to say that is my biggest struggle with gouache, the reactivation. It is also a pleasure because it's fun to mix a top layer color into the ground layer ones. But because I worked with acrylics for so long, I wanted to test out this medium if it fits better to me like normal gouache. The paint feels soft and juicy, it's easy to use it with no water and it also works to water it down to get more like a watercolor effect. The only thing I'm not so sure is some of the colors are not really opaque. Gouache on black paper is very opaque normally if you use the paint without water. These paints feel thinner than gouache. Acrylics also have their weakness 
In my experience the yellows and the blues are more transparent and you sometimes need more layers. In this case the yellows are really opaque, also the greens and most of the blues. The pink disappointed me a bit. I took a lot of paint but it stayed transparent. Also this first red. And the white isn't as opaque as I wished for. I think it's a mixing white. I'm not sure, but I'm sure you can create highlights with it. But I don't know if it is like a good gouache white. We will test it out. In this set we have 24 colors. We have... We have... Carmine. Permanent red, permanent scarlet, permanent orange, John brilliant, yellow ochre, permanent yellow deep, permanent yellow, permanent lemon, permanent green light, permanent green middle and deep green. We have also Viridia, aqua blue, sky blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, violet, Oprah Red, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Jet Black and White. All in all, I love the vibrant colors. You have enough reds and yellows and blues to mix a lot of different colors. A few greens and two browns, that's okay. And the matte finish is very beautiful. I'm very excited how they perform in a painting. Now it's time to try this out. Let's do this. This is the Sakura travel sketchbook with black pages. The paper feels not very thick. I hope it will hold the water well. The paper has a very smooth surface. I will sketch with a bright colorase pencil and jump right into it. I just want to have some fun with the new paints and play around to get a feeling for them. So I will paint a few cute creatures living in the forest moss where all the tiny mushrooms grow. I chose Prussian blue because I love this color, lemon yellow, green light, viridian, sky blue, scarlet and later aqua blue and white of course. I struggled a bit with my brushes this time. I need a few new ones. I think, especially in the smaller sizes. First, I want to build up the background with watered down paint. I just want to know how it works on the black paper and also if the paper can handle a bit more water. And as you can see, it worked perfect. The paper got a bit wavy, okay, in the process, but not too much. That surprised me. And the thinned down paint shines nicely on the black paper. And as you can see on the black paper the paint is a lot more bright when it's dried. Yeah, because uh, the wetness makes it a bit darker until it's dried. I have to make a test on white paper. Gouache gets a bit darker when it dries. It would be interesting how acrylic gouache dries on normal white paper. Just because I want to know it. I'm painting very loose on this piece. Normally I would go in with colored pencils in the end, but on this one I only want to use these paints. You can easily build up layers without your color gets muddy. This is what I totally love about these acrylic gouache paints. It has the vibe of gouache, but it's easier to use I think. You can build layers like with acrylics. It's awesome. I'm sorry, I lost a part of the video. I don't know where it is. But as you can see, I painted a few background leaves and red on top of the mushrooms. Now a few details. The 
white performed better as I expected on this point. I mixed a tiny bit of blue in it that it's not too bright. It looks better in this painting like this. I really enjoyed the process and I will definitely use these paints more often. I think there is another brand which produces these acrylic gouache paints. I think it's Holbein, isn't it? I'm so curious how they perform. I think I will also test them out and compare them to each other. So this little piece is finished. I'm happy how it came out. Now I have to try out one more thing. If you are not new here on my channel, you know I love mixed media. I have to know how colored pencils work on top of these paints. On top of gouache, colored pencils work Perfect. On top of acrylics, it feels very bad to work on it. So I hope it will be a good experience. I will also paint two little creatures first. And this bar on the right is a bit too bright, but I wanted to write some information for my future me in it. I closed the Stay Wet palette. There's a lot of paint inside, which I didn't use. Now I can test how long it can be used and share it with you in a few weeks, how good it works. Now colored pencils. I picked a few colors and just started. It feels very good on top of these acrylic gouache. That makes me happy. I have to try out Neocolor and Marcus as well next time. For every new medium I need a while to be really comfortable with. So my result is I like to use acrylic gouache. For me it's easier like normal gouache. I was a tiny bit disappointed with the opacities of some of the colors, but perhaps it's absolutely normal for these kind of paints. They are more juicy as normal gouache, more like juicy acrylics, and it's a lot of fun to work with them because of that. I easily came in my flow, and that's always a good sign. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your support. Let's have a look at the close-ups together and have an awesome day. Yours, Sonali.